returning to where you used to coach because obviously that was a big week for you when you went back to Boulder. Yeah, no, it was a lot of a lot of emotions. Um, I think you know for him going back and just a lot of connections and relationships that you had. Um, you know, working with players, coaches, staff. Uh, it, it was, uh, yeah, it was it was a, it was a great experience for me, and, and even better coming on the winning end of it. But uh, no, I think it, he'll be going through a lot of emotions this week. It'll be be exciting opportunity for him. Coach Smith kind of said on Monday that he thought Jake may, have, you know, Stanford did a good job disguising defenses, make Jake a little uncomfortable. Is there anything you guys can kind of do to get him back on track against a really good Washington defense? Uh, yeah, no, there was there were some uh, there were some there were some snaps. You know, obviously the interception. Um, you know, I think he just misread the coverage and, and did some things to, you know, confuse him a little bit. Uh, I also think he did, you know, he made some pretty good throws and did, did a lot of good things in that game. Uh, but yeah, there was there was a couple that I, I think he'd like to have back. And then, uh, you know, speaking to Washington, I mean, they're, you know, year in and year out, one of the top defenses uh, in the Pac-12, not the country. They're really sound. The coaches do a hell of a job uh, preparing those guys. And then they've got a lot of veteran players that have played a lot of ball on that defense. Um, so it's going to be. Uh, you know, a, a big challenge for us, and, and a, but a, at the same time, an oper awesome opportunity for our guys to go play against some really quality competition. And coach, can you also just talk about the need for just better pass protection, being able to give Jake or whoever is behind center just a few more seconds to be able to go through the coverage or makes throws? Yeah, it's something that you know we talk about a lot, and it's it's uh, it's been an issue for us all year. Um, you know, and, and it's something. You know our offensive line. I think it, you know I, I say it every week. I think it's not just on the offensive line. I think they got a lot of stuff that they can clean up with it. But it's as much on the quarterback getting the ball out of his hands. It's as much on the receivers understanding to have urgency and go in on routes. So I think there's a lot of different you know factors when we when we go back and look at it that we got to get better. But the bottom line is you know we can't take as many sacks as we as we've taken this year. We've got to improve in that area. Um, yeah. Trebron's been pretty explosive, especially with Jake back. Can you just talk about his season this year? Yeah, I, I, uh, I've been excited about Trayvon. I know that we, in spring football and fall camp, uh, he showed flashes of some creating some explosive plays and doing some things. I love the way that he competes on game day. And, and uh, he's one of those guys that can just think and function, you know, in, in tough environments and competitive situations. So I, I really respect him for that. Um, yeah, and I think those, those guys, really the whole receiving core has a, has a really um, good feel with Jake out there and plays with some confidence. And, and that's, been, that's been good to see. Kipper got, Kipper got quite a few uh, reps in the last game. Some of the young guys did. Was that by design, just to give these guys a look? Yeah, yeah. And some of those guys, they're, they're in their four games, so they can still redshirt. Uh, we're just trying to get them a little taste of the action and get them some experience and, um, you know, let them see kind of what it's like. And, and I think those guys, you know, Brandon, he's, he's got a tremendous upside for the future. And, and uh, yeah, I think there's, it was a quality learning experience for him, but uh, that's that's the way that you learn and get better. Let's go out there and do it. The thing unique balance. about playing in Husky Stadium that you know, makes it a tough venue. To, aside from the fact the team's really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the team being really good is the toughest uh, toughest deal. Um, but they took the track out of there, and since they took the track out of there, uh, the fans are a little bit more on top of you, and, and they're having a heck of a season, and, and you know they're still competing for the Pac-12 championship and and uh, the Rose Bowl potentially. So I know they've got. A, ton to play for and, and the fans are on top of you it's it's an awesome setting for college football right on the on the lake there um, and so I, I think our guys got to embrace the opportunity and enjoy the experience um, but yeah the, the crowd noise and they're one of the fans that seem to really be into the game and understand the game as far as that so it'll be it's a definitely tough environment to play how do you kind of balance that getting some of those younger guys in still kind of in the flow of the game and you guys obviously still want to win game how do you kind of balance how much time you get them in and when you get them in just how much I think they're ready. You know, some guys are a little bit more ready, and, and we have some specific packages for guys where we don't necessarily they're not going to be in there having to run the whole plan. They they can run a you know small package of things that they've rep during the week that we feel like they go out and execute. But um, yeah, we're we're going to try to put our best guys out there that give us the, the best opportunity to win the game. And uh, but at the same point, we we want to get some of those young guys that we feel like. Um, have really big upside and have you know opportunity to really help us down the line and get those guys just a little little taste of action uh, these last couple games. Are teams changing how they defense your running game now? That I mean, you've had some great games early in the season. Or have you seen a difference in the way they're trying to stop you? Uh, well, I think you know Jamar's had a heck of a run, and I think you know when you look at our offense, I'm sure the defensive coordinators are saying that's that's a you know playmaker and the guy that's had a lot of success for him. 
we're going to try to do what we can to stop him and, and make make him beat you through the you know beat you through the air and yeah I feel like people have you know came out with the mentality they want to load up and, and do what they can to stop to stop the run and, and make us throw the football and uh, it's been nice uh, the last three weeks really this week this last week not as much but against SC and um, Colorado being able to kind of get that pass game clicking a little bit to where people can't just totally load up against uh, Jamar in our, in our front but. It was nice to it was nice to see. I thought our run game got going a little bit better than it had been the last two weeks, and it was nice to see Jamar get back over 100 yards. Hodgins didn't get many targets this past weekend. Was that just because of the way they played him, or? Uh, yeah, I think he he had one that he dropped that he'd like to have back, and, and a few more that it, that you know the, I think the ball was going there. We had to scramble or what, and protection broke down. Um, you know, I think just some some games the ball finds you a little bit more than others, but he's a outstanding player and he's had a great uh, a great year for us and so I think that's something as an offensive staff that we're you know we're, we're finding we're trying to find ways to get get him the ball but I, I do like the way that uh, looking at the statistics of it I, I like how it's the ball has been spread around um, you know all Trayvon Timmy and mm -hmm. and uh, Isaiah both you know they're all kind of in the same ballpark as far as number of catches and, and I, I think that's good where defenses can't just gang up you know on a certain guy thanks coach thanks